Soaring through turbulence, Spirit Airlines faces financial headwinds. We've all been there. You find an amazing deal on a flight. You're so excited to travel. Then you remember it's Spirit Airlines. You might have to pay for your carry-on. But what if I told you Spirit is going through tough times? Yes, the airline known for low fares is facing financial challenges. They're even considering bankruptcy. Why is this happening? Well, like many businesses, Spirit has been hit hard. The pandemic, rising fuel costs, and a competitive market are all playing a role. Think about it. Fewer people traveling means less money for airlines. Spirit is at a crossroads. They need to find a way to navigate these challenges. What do you think they should do? Share your thoughts in the comments. Bankruptcy. It's a scary word, isn't it? It brings a sense of dread and uncertainty. It sounds like the end of the line, a final destination with no return. But what if I told you it could be a new beginning? That's right, a fresh start. For businesses, bankruptcy isn't always a death sentence. It can be a strategic move. It can be a chance to restructure and come back stronger, more resilient than before. Think of it like this. Imagine you're carrying a heavy backpack. It's filled with debt and financial burdens, weighing you down with every step. Bankruptcy is like taking that backpack off, setting it down. It gives you a chance to breathe, to pause and reassess. You can reorganize what's inside, prioritize what truly matters. You can even get rid of things that are weighing you down, unnecessary burdens. That's what Spirit Airlines is considering, a strategic move to lighten their load. They're looking at Chapter 11 Bankruptcy, a lifeline for struggling companies. This type of bankruptcy allows companies to keep operating, to stay afloat. They can work out a plan to pay off their debts while still running their business, maintaining operations. Have you ever experienced a financial setback? A moment where you felt overwhelmed? How did you overcome it? What steps did you take to rise again? So why is Spirit considering this drastic step? Well, picture a perfect storm. A combination of factors has created a challenging situation for the airline. First, the pandemic hit the travel industry hard. People were scared to fly and travel restrictions were everywhere. This meant fewer passengers for airlines like Spirit. Second, fuel prices have been on a roller coaster ride, and we all know that airlines need fuel to fly. The cost of fuel is a significant part of an airline's expenses. These fluctuating prices make it difficult for airlines to budget and plan effectively. Finally, the airline industry is incredibly competitive. There are so many airlines vying for passengers, each trying to offer the best deals. This means airlines like Spirit need to keep their fares low to attract customers. All of these factors have put a strain on Spirit's finances, making it hard to stay profitable. Chapter 11 could give them the breathing room they need to address these challenges and restructure their operations. What do you think are the biggest challenges facing the airline industry today? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Now let's talk about creditors and their significant role in the financial ecosystem. Who are they? In simple terms, creditors are people or businesses that are owed money, often due to loans or services provided. In Spirit's case, creditors could include banks, aircraft lessers, or even fuel suppliers, all of whom have a vested interest in the airline's financial health. They play a crucial role in the bankruptcy process, influencing the outcome significantly. Why? because they have a say in whether Spirit's plan is approved, which can determine the company's future. Imagine you lent money to a friend and they come to you saying they need more time to pay you back. You would want to know they have a solid plan to repay you, right? You'd need assurance that your money is safe. It's the same with creditors. They need to be convinced of the viability of the repayment plan. They want to see that Spirit has a solid plan to get back on track and become profitable again. Creditors will carefully review Spirit's financial situation, scrutinizing every detail. They'll consider the proposed repayment plan, weighing its feasibility and potential risks. After thorough evaluation, they'll decide whether to support the plan. Ultimately, they'll vote on whether to approve the bankruptcy plan, a decision that can make or break the company. Do you think creditors have a responsibility to consider the impact of their decisions on a company's employees and customers? Their choices can affect many lives. Here's where things get interesting. Remember Frontier Airlines? They're another low-cost carrier, and they were in talks to merge with Spirit. Now, a merger can be a strategic move for businesses. It's like joining forces to become stronger. 
In the airline industry, mergers can help airlines expand their reach. They can gain access to new routes and customers. This can be especially beneficial for low-cost carriers like Spirit and Frontier. However, the merger talk stalled. Why? Well, sometimes mergers are like trying to fit puzzle pieces together. It might seem like a good fit at first, but then you realize the pieces don't quite align. Could a merger still be an option for Spirit? It's definitely something to watch. What are your thoughts on airline mergers? Do you think they're good for consumers? Let's talk numbers for a moment. Spirit Airlines is facing a significant debt burden. We're talking about $2.5 billion. That's a lot of money, even for an airline. This debt is a major factor in their financial difficulties. It's like carrying a heavy suitcase everywhere you go. It slows you down and makes it hard to move forward. Chapter 11. Bankruptcy could give Spirit the opportunity to restructure this debt. They might be able to negotiate with creditors to reduce the amount they owe. Or they could work out a new payment plan that is more manageable. The key question is, can Spirit successfully restructure their finances? Can they find a way to manage their debt and return to profitability? Have you ever had to make tough financial decisions? How did you approach the situation? Section 8. The Future of Low-Cost Air Travel Will Spirit's strategy take off? Spirit Airlines has always been known for its ultra-low fares. They've revolutionized air travel by offering affordable options for budget-conscious travelers. But the question is, can this low-cost model be sustained in the long run? The airline industry is facing numerous challenges, from rising fuel costs to increased competition. Spirit's potential bankruptcy raises questions about the viability of their business model, can they continue to offer rock-bottom prices while also addressing their financial obligations? The future of low-cost air travel might depend on how Spirit navigates these challenges. Do you think low-cost airlines can continue to offer affordable fares while also ensuring financial stability? Section 9. Competitors Circle. How other airlines are reacting to Spirit's situation. You know what they say? When one door closes, another one opens. That's certainly true in the competitive world of airlines. While Spirit is facing challenges, their competitors are watching closely. They see an opportunity to potentially gain market share. Other low-cost carriers might try to lure away Spirit's customers with even lower fares or attractive promotions. Meanwhile, larger airlines might see this as a chance to expand their presence in certain markets. It's like a game of chess, with each airline making strategic moves to stay ahead. The outcome of Spirit's situation could have a ripple effect throughout the entire industry. How do you think Spirit's competitors will react to their potential bankruptcy? Section 10. Expert Opinions. What analysts are saying about Spirit's potential bankruptcy. When it comes to complex financial matters like bankruptcy, it's always helpful to get insights from the experts. Industry analysts have been closely following Spirit's situation, and they have a range of opinions. Some analysts believe that Chapter 11 could be a positive step for Spirit. They argue that it will give the airline the opportunity to restructure its debt and emerge as a stronger competitor. Other analysts are more cautious. They point to the challenges facing the airline industry and question whether Spirit can overcome its financial headwinds. It's important to consider these different perspectives as we try to understand the potential implications of Spirit's situation. What are your thoughts on the role of industry analysts in shaping public opinion? Section 11. What's next for Spirit? Awaiting the final decision. As we've explored, Spirit Airlines is at a pivotal moment. The decision of whether to file for bankruptcy is a significant one, with far-reaching implications. Right now, we're all waiting to see what Spirit's next move will be. Will they officially file for Chapter 11? Will they pursue a different course of action? The coming weeks and months will be crucial for Spirit. Their decisions will shape the future of the airline and could have a lasting impact on the low-cost air travel market. One thing is for sure, the airline industry is ever-evolving and Spirit's journey will continue to be a fascinating one to follow. What do you think the future holds for Spirit Airlines? Share your predictions in the comments.